In this video, we're going to go over ChatGPT. This is the latest crazed AI tool that students can use to write papers. Well, yeah, that is one of the uses, but we could also use this tool to enhance education. But for this video, we're going to just focus on ChatGPT and another tool which will allow teachers to insert a text and see if it was written by an AI tool or by the student itself. Hopefully at the end of this little video tutorial, you'll be able to relax a little bit and know that there's help on the way and know that students will still have to continue to create their own work. But we can use ChatGPT as a way to enhance student lessons if we give it a chance. Check it out. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to openai.com slash blog slash chat GPT. And we're going to come to the uh, GPT uh, website here. And we're going to go ahead and hit try chat GPT. And it's going to bring us up to this um, search box here where we could type a question. So I've already done this to eliminate the typing. Uh, what were the opinions of educators in regards to the internet when the internet was first released? And I hit the little send button and it spit out this awesome text right here. Now, if you read this, what is kind of unique about the question I asked is that we are having some of the same hesitancies towards this uh, chat GPT as we did with the internet. We were worried about distractions. We were worried about students being less creative. We were worried about uh, students not turning in their own work. All right, so a lot of these same fears we have with other technologies as well, and they're all over the internet right now. So I think one of the reasons why we're having uh, this uh, fear of using this tool or sharing this tool with our students is that uh, we have no way of checking whether or not they wrote something or if AI wrote something. Well, that's not the case anymore. We have a website called gpt0.me. And what that does is it allows us humans to know the truth. All right. If you're an educator, I would strongly suggest you get on the wait list because they're going to be throwing out some uh, other products that will make this more accessible. But for right now, we can just try the GPT-0 Classic. So when you go there, it's going to bring up this box that allows you to enter the text that you have in question. All right, so I have already done this. Um, I'm going to just show you the box here. So you would just copy and paste the text in there, and then you would hit Control and Enter. And what that's going to do is uh, it's going to bring up this analysis. And this analysis is awesome. Basically, it's looking at this text, uh, the perplexity of the text, and as you can see, this one got a score of 8. The lower the score, the more likely it's been generated by a language model. If we go even further, you can look at the perplexity by sentence. So it gives us some good data here. And then we have an overall perplexity uh, score there. When you're done with that, you just hit Get GPT-0 Result. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell you that the text is either most likely to be student written or human generated or in this case it was AI generated and this is a good way just to show your students that you can check their work if they try to turn in AI generated work uh, you have a way to check uh, their work and let them know that they're not fooling anyone so uh, if you show your students that more likely this is going to be a big deterrent from them from using this for those purposes. And it will also warrant a pretty good discussion. So maybe they started with a GPT uh, chat and then they made some edits. And if that's the case, maybe that's okay, depending on your requirements. But I think with this tool, we now as educators, we can be a little bit less anxious on it and we could start focusing on how we can use GPT chat as a way to enhance learning, such as a pre-writing exercise, or a way to get ideas for creative writing, or anything along those lines. I'm trying to use uh, GPT chat as a way to gamify my classroom. So what if I did an exercise where I, where I wanted to see if students can tell which one is AI generated, 
or human generated. And instead of doing two truths and a lie, I am now doing uh, two AI generated passages versus one human passage. And we play a game that way to see how many students can pick the human written passage. I think it's just a good way to gamify the classroom. So I hope that this video has helped. I hope this has uh, maybe helped control some of the anxiousness that we have with GPT chat.